Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel TKF Electronics. I hope you all are doing fine friends. Thank you very much for your comments and uh, suggestions. And some of them have commented that you are not checking my mail, not answering my WhatsApp. And sorry friends, uh, whenever I'm getting time, I'm trying my best to answer your mails uh, and answer your comments and as much as possible I'm replying also on WhatsApp. Well friends, uh, today I received one uh, Parcel from Hyderabad, this is from Bachupalli Road, somewhere in Hyderabad. So, let's unbox this one and check what is the what is inside and what is the problem. Site. So guys, let's uh, put it on and check. So I put it on. What's the issue? Let's see. Hello comes. So hello comes. We'll see what is the problem. Put it on again. I put it on. Bluetooth. So let's see what's the problem in this. So see, push power protect. This is the problem. We'll open the top cover and check what's the issue. We'll put it off first. I'll put it off. So guys, I have already removed the screws, so we'll open it. So, this is the set, so we'll check some. So guys, what we'll do first, so we'll check the high voltage first, What what is happening to the High voltage so this is the high voltage wire going to the power supply amplifier section so we'll check what will be the condition so we'll check the some voltage over here I'll put it on and we'll check the voltage over here okay. the moment it goes we'll come to know exactly So it is now on Bluetooth mode. It is on Bluetooth mode. So when the high voltage generates, suddenly it goes drop it. See, it comes and it drops. See. So it means there is a problem in the amplifier section and push power protect will come. And push power protect will come. And push power protect will come. See. So this is the problem. So now we'll do a step by step. So friends, first of all, what we'll do, we'll check some output. The speaker connectors going to the speaker connector. This one, we'll check some whether there are any shorting is there in the pins. We'll check that one first. Okay, is any shorting in that? So we'll come to an exactly. So I kept, I kept on the uh, this one range, uh, diode range. I kept on diode range. So body I will use as a common. Okay. So as usual, this is I will use as a common. So now we will check some ohms over here. So this is also good and this also good. Dear C subwoofer connector of subwoofer is showing some ohms. One terminal, another terminal is good, but but this both is coming from the IC only. 
so and this is uh, center okay good good this is also good this is good this is also good so the problem is subwoofer connector which is coming from this ic is shorted see so if you check on the ohms range see it is showing some 290 ohms it should not supposed to show so it means this is coming from this ic so one of our ic is faulty there is no shorting no shorting no 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 this is charge discharge only no 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 this one is showing ohms see so guys that's why it is going on push power protect because the high voltage is getting shorted from this ic so the moment power supply generate high voltage to the amplifier board so suddenly it goes to zero volt because of this ic is shorted subwoofer pin number 2 and 3 this ic pin number 2 and 3 is going to the subwoofer so that's why it is shorted with the ground minus shorted with the minus 1 so that's why the positive voltage shorted with the minus voltage negative voltage so because of this it is coming push power product so we need to replace this one this ic only another ic will it is not showing anything but once this ic replace the push power product will go off so guys the it is came from one of the i think technician only is sent this for me because he removed all the this is uh, push power product transistors small small transistors from inside he removed out all this one i'll show you see see you can see the transistors so here and here also see it remove all the transistors here also and also one I remove this transistor also here okay and I think one more transistor he removed somewhere here previous technician see here also he removed one transistor so total three four five transistors he removed out unnecessarily because the fault is something else and he removed this one So guys now we will dismantle this complete board and we will take it out for replacing this IC. Just keep watching my video guys. So guys, we have removed this one. So keep this aside. So we'll. So this IC is the culprit. So this is the one. So we need to replace because of this IC is faulty. That's why it is going on to push power product. See guys, one more thing I will tell you. Every time it doesn't mean that if you remove this three, three transistor, this is the overload transistor. If you remove this one, every time your problem will get solved. No, it's not possible like that. Because if genuine there is a something seriously problem is there, like IC is defective or this IC is defective, even if you remove these three transistors or here or there, nothing is going to happen. So first try to locate exactly what is the problem. Search for the culprit, the defective parts, then only you will take uh, any further action on this board. So now what we will do, we will just clean this one first. See too much dust is there. So we will clean this completely with the air blower. 
then we'll start replacing this IC because this IC is uh, defective. So anyway, we'll check one more time this IC. See, I kept on the diode range. So pin number one is here. The pin number one is the ground of this IC. Okay, guys. See, and pin number two. See, showing short. Too. See, sixty-five ohms. See, sixty-five ohms. This is not supposed to show this much. Sixty-five ohms means how much? See, two ninety-one ohms. So this is false reading. So this is this should not supposed to show. That's why if you see the this is the high voltage supplier, 50 volt high voltage is coming to this board to operate this amplifier board. If you check this one, see actually this should supposed to cross 300, point 300, but it is up to 264 only. So as per my meter, every time I am uh, re re taking reading of uh, this type of board, good board, it should supposed to go beyond 300, like 350, point 350, something like that. But it is stuck on 240 only. So this is the problem. So after replacing this IC, we'll check. So we'll start uh, preparing for remove this IC. Just keep watching my video guys. So guys, we have removed the IC. This is the fault place. So guys, this should be like this. See. So now we'll fix new IC. So guys, now I got the new IC with me. This is the old one. And this is the new one. So the STA five one six BF. So B. This is the very very original IC. So you should be very careful when you are buying IC. This is the new IC. STA five one six BF. So this is very very original IC my friend. Okay, now we will start soldering. So now it is perfect. So we will start soldering now. Just keep watching the video guys.
so guys we have soldered this one completely so now just we'll check is there any shorting so we clean this So guys, uh, we have already soldered this one. See, it's like this. Okay. So it's perfect. Okay. So you should solder like this, guys. Okay. So guys, now we'll fix this. So we have replaced this IC. So it was showing push power protect. So we'll fix this back and we'll fix all. We'll fix back all this one, pan, connector, everything. Okay, just then we'll put it on. So we'll start fixing everything now. So guys, I have already fix, fixed this one completely. So I have, as you know, we have I have replaced in this uh, one IC of subwoofer site STF five one six B of this is the faulty IC, and also I have replaced strip connector also and fan uh, cooling fan also. So I recommend uh, whenever you service, uh, better to replace the cooling fan also. This is 12 volt DC fan and connect strip connector also flex flexible cable. So I replaced totally three parts in this IC fan and uh, flexible cable. So it will be better. Cooling fan is better because it will cool the the heating system very fast. So your long life will be there. So I have replaced all these things. So now it's time to check this one. So we'll put it on now and check. So I'll put it on now. So I'll put it on my friend. Put it on. See hello comes. Okay. So, so hello gone or Bluetooth come. And for our fan also moving first. I will connect to my Bluetooth now. So guys, song is running now. So I will check the this one. So we'll check the connectors. The speaker. We'll check all the speaker now. This is so guys all output are working all outputs are working so thank you very much for watching my video take care See you very soon next video. Bye.